anyway, she texts you right away. She texts, she, she gets your text, she sees it, oh my god, I'm texting, I'm gonna text him, I'm gonna text him, oh my god, I can't wait to see you, uh, uh, what do I do? Girl sends some dumb shit back, like, ha ha ha, nothing. You know, hey, what are you doing? She's like, nothing. This girl with hair. She'll send you that message, right? And you get it, you get it at like, the second she sees it. And you think, fuck, took her an hour to send it to me, now I gotta go to my chart. Now I have to wait the time that it took her to send me that text to send it back to her. Okay, now it's 11 o'clock, or what? I went to music school, so 7.30 plus an hour, was 9 plus an hour, half. okay, now it's 10.30. I was close to that, huh? Um, sorry, I got an Asian kid in the bag laughing at me. Um, now it's okay, I work for an Asian guy, we're fine. Um, so now it's, whatever, 10.30 I said, um, and she's, uh, and I just sent her a text that's like, oh, well, I'm just hanging at home, want to come over? Don't text, want to come over at 10.30, you asshole. Um, that was what you were trying to do. But now, because you've been following these rules, you've delayed it. Okay, she gets out of the, she gets out of the shower at 9 o'clock, or whatever time you said. Fuck, I'm confusing myself. Um, she gets out of the shower at 9 o'clock, she sends you a text right away. She says, oh, nothing. You know, going out with some girls tonight. And you're like, okay, well, why don't you come over here? Okay, that sounds great. Should I bring a bottle of wine? Yes, done. She's there in 45 minutes. You know, that's the only way that you're going to have that opportunity. You know, being aware, being open, being, um, you know, along the lines of, of paying attention, what Spear was talking about. Um, what we're up against, this book. This book is really cool. It's flirt texting. It's written by two fucking gorgeous girls from New York. Um, it is essentially the girl version of what I'm talking about. Like, if I was a character on Sex and the City, this would be the book I just wrote. Um, it's really cool. It's got some interesting stuff. It is well worth the read because it talks about a lot of things that girls talk about. Um, hold on a second. No feedback, no feedback, no feedback, no feedback. Okay, there are some quotes here I, I pulled out earlier. There's a, little, um, there's a little sideways thing that says, bad idea, bold heading, bad idea immediately answering any flirt text from a crush. And there's like pink and black, it's like the dumbest thing. She, they say things like, a text, a text can escalate. That already neurotic butterfly <coughs> and stomach feeling you have for a boy and can drive the common sense right out of a girl. So why wouldn't you text back immediately? If you text back immediately, it's automatically okay for her to text back immediately, right? Um, what's the other terrible one I say? Oh, this girl, <laughs> this, this woman writes, and you know, it's, it's filled with really cool information. It's great, it's, it's a very empowering book for women, and it's awesome to know um, from a woman's standpoint, but there's some stuff like, tell me if you guys think this is true. In essence, the longer you can hold out to respond to a text, the more he will like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm glad they're with me on that, because I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I texted that girl. Oh yeah, well she's gonna text uh, Xbox. Like, that's what I do. You know, I shut down. I forget about it. Um, there's a lot of cool things in there. It's very well worth the read. Um, but I just, I'm just not into a lot of it. Um, I'm sure there's something I forgot that I'll get to in a second. Texting versus calling, really, really obvious. Um, there are, it's a question of immediacy versus investment. Um, I was talking with a very, very good friend of mine that was basically texting five different guys. And she was like, oh, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to sleep with tonight. And I was like, really? You do that? And she was like, yeah, I don't know. And I was like, well, they're all texting me. What if one called you? She was like, oh, hands down. If one called me, it would be over. I would go right over there. The phone call makes um, or breaks the interaction. The phone call has an extremely powerful um, Powerful, powerful power. <laughs> I'm videotaping this too, don't ask. Um, <laughs> really, really powerful. But there are other times when you just can't call. I had a girl text me from a funeral one time. A funeral! I'm not joking, I'm not making this up. Um, epic? Huh? Epic? No, no, she was just texting me. Um, inappropriate times to call. She's at work, she's at school. There are, or there is a very prominent godfather of the seduction community that says, oh, I'll never text. Why would you text when you can do your hypnotism over the phone, you know, after she's out of class? Okay, well, what I say to that is you wait till 3 o'clock when she's out of class or, you know, whatever time college girls get out of class 
um, along the lines of what Simeon was saying today. And while she's in class for two hours, I'm going to text her. And I'm going to wind her up so much. I'm going to get her so horny that I'm going to bring her over to my house right after. She's going to forget that you're calling. You're going to call her when she's five minutes away from my house. Um, one of the big problems that I run into, which is fairly significant but really easy to handle, is if she texts after you call her. I don't know if you guys have ever called a girl and left one of your crafty messages. My message is, um, hey, it's Gareth. I just thought the most incredible thing. Uh, and i got to tell you, give me a call back. My number is number, 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 number. And she'll text you and be like, hey, sorry. What was that thing that you wanted to tell me? Because I didn't want to tell her something. I wanted to get her on the phone. Um, there are two reasons that she would do this. Number one, she doesn't want to deal with you on the phone. And number two, she uh, is at like, work or something. Um, in the case that she's at work, she'll say, hey, I'm at work, or hey, I'm at the doctor's office, or hey, I'm at a fucking funeral. Uh, what's going on? Um, that means she likes you. It's an IOI, especially if she texts you right back. Um, but say something. Lead her into something like, um, see the call again. Say, uh, oh, it's something really funny. I'll tell you when you call me. How are you doing? You know, start a new thread. We call that baiting. Not to be confused with master. Uh, the first text, okay, here's the deal. Whenever I get a girl's number in a club, and my, my game basically is I'll go to a club, I'll have a lot of fun, I'll cold approach, I'll get a number, and then I won't do anything. I won't go on a first date, I'll line her up, I'll text her. I will always send this text, and write this down, guys. Hey, it's Gareth. Save this number because it's the most important one you'll ever get. And because it's smile, it's because it's uh, kind of cocky, it could be arrogant, it could be misinterpreted in a number of ways, I put a smiley face. And if you guys are perception, uh, perceptual, um, you will understand, or you'll kind of take a look, and you'll see it lends a little kind of air of light, kind of Gilbert and Sullivan-esque era to it. Um, when to send it. Now, here's the deal. It's something actually um, I, I figured out on my own, but credit to Ratis, who I um, then later heard. You know, when you think up something really clever, and then you like listen to a podcast, and you're like, fuck, like, that guy's talking about what I was thinking of yesterday. Worst thing. Um, when to send it? You can send it in a club. I send it between, or I will say, in the first 14 hours that I know her, of the life expanding after I know her, right? So the idea is that, um, the idea is that uh, I will send that text in the club before 1.30. So if I meet her at 10 p.m., or okay, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll move on with this. You also send it the next day. Send it in the morning. Don't send it in the late afternoon. Send it in the evening. So 14 hours, if I meet her at 1 o'clock, 12 hours would be my awesome math skills. 12 hours is 1 o'clock, 14 hours is 3 o'clock. Send it before 3 p.m. the next day. Man, I sure wish there was a chart. Bam. Oh, it's teeny on this fucking thing. I'm sorry. Um, sending the first text less than 14 hours uh, after the first interaction and before 1.30 a.m. or after you wake up. Don't send it when the club is closed. Don't send it like at 2.30. You know, that's, it just makes you look needy. Um, meet her at 10 p.m., text her before 1.30 a.m. So you're texting her in the club. Have you guys ever gotten this? And I, I have, so don't feel bad. You're talking to a girl and you're running a game and she's like, uh-huh, 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 girls, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, salsa dancing? Oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. She picks up her phone and she's like, who the fuck texted me? Basically, she's really like, this is an annoying conversation. But guess what? You run solid game, you get her number, you text her right there, she's fucking talking to some other douchebag from some stupid lair that looks like an idiot out in his fucking ridiculous feather bow and you know, top hat or whatever. <laughs> and guess what? She looks at her phone and you text her. And it's like, hey, save this number. Smiley face. And she's like, wait, really? And she looks up and she sees you and there's some dude in the fucking boa and you're over on the side of the club going, hey. Oh, I'm doing too, right? And she's like, no, stop texting me. And she's laughing, and this other guy's like, yeah, so I was up in the, you know, Kilimanjaro. And she's like, oh, what's that? It can happen. You can have that text conversation. And then after he gets blown out, she'll just come right back over and be like, you're so bad for texting me while I was there. You know, you can always be like, who knows you doing? 